My name is Matthew Jones and I play violin, clarinet, saxophone and bassoon. During lockdown, as a substitute for playing with other musicians in bands and ensembles, I've been using an app called Acapella Maker to record myself playing as a small ensemble. For example, this is my rendition of Ravel's Bolero on three clarinets. <laughs> For this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use Acapella Maker to produce a very simple video using two clarinet parts. Obviously, you'll only need one physical clarinet. The equipment you will need for this is... A musical instrument, in this case my clarinet. A piece of music matched to your musical ability and that has two or more parts to it. In this case, we're going to play Scarborough Fair, a traditional English ballad. A smartphone or tablet a device on which you can download Acapella Maker and that has the functioning video camera, microphone and loudspeaker. A pair of headphones or earphones. A music stand. Something to support your smartphone or tablet. I'm using an ordinary camera tripod with a special adapter to grip my phone that can be bought on Amazon or eBay for about £8. If you don't have a music stand or tripod, then you can still improvise using household items. Possibly some sort of additional lighting. And finally, an area of blank wall to act as a background. If you don't have any suitable sheet music at home, then there is plenty out there on the internet. I use a free website called 8Notes, and you can see the web address here. From the 8Notes home screen, if you then scroll down, you'll find sheet music for groups such as strings, wind, plucked strings, brass and mixed. As I'm going to show you how to record Scarborough Fair, you may wish to start by trying this yourself. Simply type Scarborough Fair clarinet duet into the search box and then pick Scarborough Fair as a clarinet duet from the results. The sheet music will then be displayed from which you can even play Scarborough Fair by pressing the play button. You can either print this sheet music to play it or display it on a separate device such as a tablet or laptop to save on paper. The next thing you'll need to do is install Acapella Maker, a free app available on both Android and Apple devices. I use an Android device, so to install the app, go into the Google Play Store and search on Acapella Maker. Once you've found the Acapella Maker app, click on the Install button. Once the app has successfully installed, Either click on the Open button or the Acapella Maker icon from the list of apps installed on your device. Now we're ready to start using Acapella Maker. Once Acapella Maker has been started, the first screen you're presented with prompts you to select a layout depending on the number of instrument parts you wish to play and record and the way you like the frames to be presented in the final video. For this video, I'm selecting two frames in portrait style as I'm going to record two clarinets and it's easy to see me and my instrument in a portrait frame. On the next screen, you're asked to select the video length. Click on one minute, as this is the maximum amount of time you can record in Acapella Maker without having to upgrade, and this is about the right length for Scarborough Fair. After this, you're presented with the two frames in which each part will be recorded. Select the first frame you'd like to record. Next, you're asked, do you want to listen to one audio through all your recordings? Select yes, so that you can record an audio track to listen to through your headphones when you record yourself playing. Either a metronome beat, counting the bars of the music, or even the melody itself. This will mean that I keep in time, otherwise it will be very difficult to synchronise the individual recordings with each other. There's no need to buy a metronome. Just search on metronome in the Google Play Store and there are plenty of free apps to choose from. I use an app called Metronome Beats myself, however, you'll need access to a separate device to download the app onto. You cannot use it on the same device as you're using Acapella Maker. You will now be asked where to get the audio from. 
I always click record an audio file now, so I decide how fast or slow I'd like the music to be recorded. You now have one minute to record your audio. Press the microphone button and then you'll be given a five second countdown. Once it starts, count yourself in and then record the audio file like this. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Either count the bars. Or play a metronome beat. Or play the whole of the melody. You need to ensure that whatever method you use, this is done for the whole length of the music. You may wish to experiment with each of these methods to discover what works best for you. These last few steps are essential to keep each of your parts in time. Many of the negative reviews for a cappella maker are because the users fail to synchronise their instrument parts with a pre-recorded audio beat track. You'll probably need to record many takes to get the final product perfect, so be patient. Before continuing, ensure your headphones or earphones are plugged into your device to listen to your audio beat track while recording. If you don't, you'll get a no headphone detected error message. Now we're ready to start recording the first instrument part from this screen. When you're ready to record, tap the video symbol and you'll see a 5 second countdown, like this. This is the time to prepare to play your instrument, for example, putting the clarinet to your mouth and taking a deep breath. Now record your first instrument part, taking care to play exactly to the audio beat track you prepared earlier that will be played back through your headphones. Once the recording is complete, you will be presented with this screen. From here, you can tap the frame you recorded in to watch the video and listen to the soundtrack, but without the audio beat track. If you are not happy with either the video or soundtrack, you can record it again by tapping re-record. And then repeating the process for recording a part by tapping the video symbol. Alternatively, if you are happy with the part but not the volume level, you can adjust it by tapping VOL adjust, and then pressing and dragging the blue circle either left to lower the volume or right to increase it. Then tap OK and wait for the processing message to disappear. The part will be played again at the new volume level. When tapping the back button, you will be asked, do you want to save this video? Tap yes to save it with the new volume level or no to retain the original volume. If you recorded a part in the wrong frame, there's no need to re-record it. Just press and drag the video to its new position. When you're happy with this video part, the soundtrack and its volume level, you're ready to record the next part. To do this, tap another frame with a plus sign inside. In this example, it's the only frame left and I'm going to be playing the accompaniment in this frame. Again, when you're ready to record, Tap the video symbol and you'll see another 5 second countdown during which you should prepare to play. Now record your second instrument part, again taking care to play exactly to the audio beat track you prepared earlier that will be played back through your headphones. Please note that you will only hear the audio beat track through your headphones, not the part you recorded earlier. <laughs>
Once this recording is complete, you will be presented with this screen where you can tap the frame you have just recorded in to preview the video with the soundtrack but without the audio beat track. Like before, once you've previewed your video and soundtrack, from the next screen you can re-record and adjust the volume level as many times as you wish if required. When you're happy with the second part, tap the back button to return to the make video screen. You can now listen to the two parts being played together by tapping re-listen. First, however, you'll have to wait for the mixing of the audio tracks to complete. From the pre-listen screen, the soundtracks of all parts are played together. You may wish to listen to them several times to ensure that you're happy with these three aspects. Timing, tuning and volume levels. This is where patience comes into play. If you're not satisfied with the final outcome, you'll have to re-record one or more of the parts again, and possibly again, until you're completely happy with the end result. When you are, you're finally ready to create your acapella maker video. From the make video screen, tap the create button, wait for the processing to complete and your videos and soundtracks are played together automatically. To play them again, tap the screen to display the video controls. Again, if you're not completely happy with the end result, tap the pencil button to return to the make video screen and you can re-record any of the parts. When you've finished, tap the tick. This returns you to the main screen. Before I show the video we've created, you might like to experiment with other features of Acapella Maker. For example, you can change the colour of the border surrounding your videos, or the directory where videos are saved. When you're ready to record five or more frames of video with a duration of over one minute, you'll need to upgrade Acapella Maker. To play your video, either tap Video List from the main Acapella Maker screen or go into Gallery on your device. Now here's our rendition of Scarborough Fair on Acapella Maker. I hope you enjoyed watching this tutorial. Good luck creating your own acapella maker videos.